Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan, and once again I'm I am on at a strange hour. Uh, it's uh, 3:45 p.m. Swedish time, and my only buddy Saki is playing in a tournament, so I have to go to the practice room. And the problem is that I'm going to play Muck. Muck Mono Blue Control, as played by DD Fan in a recent daily link in the show notes. And of course, this stupid software don't <laughs> put it where I want it. So here's the deck list, and I have to save it locally to uh, be able to play. It's in C then, so let's try to grab it from C. Look, and then tomorrow it will be in the right spot. Uh, this is the mono blue control list DD fan played. And this is the mono blue control list I will be using in the pauper gauntlet. Yes, the pauper gauntlet is going to happen. It will be a casual race through the practice room for uh, a lot of pauper decks until only one remains. And the gauntlet starts on August the 12th. There will be an article on Pure MTGO on July the 29th asking for deck submissions. So please don't submit any decks for the gauntlet yet. yet. But this deck is already qualified for the gauntlet and will play in the gauntlet. Uh, so uh, I'm getting some practice with it. I have to put together all the decks in my deck editor here. So uh, right now I'm gonna run the deck for a trial run. I don't know how much mono blue control I will be playing until the gauntlet starts, but I will play at least this game. There is a huge risk that my opponent quits, because it's not fun to play against mono blue control. Um, I thought that mono blue control had sort of left, uh, pla left the game for a while now, and that Fisher was too bad for it. But it's still there, it's still 4 O's. And that's why I'm playing it. And that's why it is in the gauntlet! Light Lightning is our opponent. I'm going to try to control the game. Do I want to win with an early Delver? Oh, my, my nature tells me that I want to win with an early Delver. But I'm up against... Uh, goblins. So I'm gonna piracy charm this guy hard. Goblins should be a pretty bad matchup, right? So now he will have two goblins beating down on me. I need some sort of clock. But if I cast a Delver, I do nothing else. I think I'm gonna think twice, try to find more land. He's busy paying Echo Cost this turn, right? Yes. There is a Mog Raider, I should probably counter him. Oh, more lands, nice. Now I can play Delver. I still hide behind counter spells. But I'm not protecting the Delver, I think. I'm not super sure. Because I will not be able to raise the goblins. Anyway. This should be a horrible matchup for Mono Blue Control. What did the old Pauper, um, Pauper's Cage list say? Letting through the Raider is probably bad. 
I can't counter everything. I can't counter the bushwalker. And I'm just gonna take whatever he chooses to give me here. What is it? It isn't... But that is hope, at least. I think I'm gonna take three here. And think twice. I'm probably gonna need to counter something, so I can't think twice. But I really need to think twice, think twice to get the spy golem and counter spell. Online. Uh, Sparksmith is insta death, so I have to counter him. Still living in the hope that I could play um, Spy Golem and a counter spell. Same turn. And to do that, I need one more land. It is a land now. I want to reveal the card. I have exclude. Um, am I going to beat down? If I block this goblin, he can still he still has two goblins. I think I'm beating down. And he cannot just not play goblins, right? But we are gonna have to eat that lightning bolt. If he doesn't play goblins now, I am in danger. And he probably will not, but I can at least think twice. And he probably has burn in his hand. So think twice. Oh, found the think twice. Yay! Here we go. Spy Golem and a Deprive to protect it. And rest assured that we will protect the Spy Golem. It will be protected. Thinking twice again. Another spy golem. That's pretty sweet, actually. And another think twice. I have to be a lot more controlish than trinket control here and really play defensively. Do we counter matron? I think we counter matron. Who can fit Matron into Goblin list today? That's that's skillful. I'm not ironic, I meant I wanted to play Matron, but I couldn't fit her in my Goblins list. I think I have him here, actually. I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna win this. And I don't have a sideboard plan for the deck. If anybody has a sideboard plan for a, for a deck such as this, please let me know. Because I have no idea what I should sideboard against what. And that will of course be bad. But I won't be able to make a sideboard plan for each deck in the gauntlet. I don't have those kind of time resources. So I have to improvise. 
But I have a sideboard that TD fan made. And I hope that will be good enough. He must have a bolt here. Yeah. But I'm okay with that. And I'm gonna flash back a thing twice. Finding some more mana. Now we can double think twice. To defeat him with card advantage in the end. But he's now building up for a big attack. The spell is really nice. Quick sound. One thing twice left. <laughs> wow, my hand is really full of hand spells. Now I need a delver. I thought this was a bad matchup, but I'm starting to feel good about it. But now... Uh, he di didn't really use condescends, he used prohibits. But I don't own prohibit! So, it's one of the few... And it was pretty low uh, recently, but then it went up. So I didn't manage to buy it when it was like 130. That's a re reasonable price for prohibits, in my opinion. Because I would never use them. Normally, I would never play them in a tournament. So I didn't want to spend the ticks. Because I'm a cheap bastard. Sorry for being a cheap bastard. And I think using condescend instead of prohibit doesn't reduce. Uh, the quality of the deck uh, much. Yeah! Okay, this now I can bounce something at the end of his turn. That's just so much fun! This deck is not my cup of tea! But I'm gonna play all the pauper decks in the pauper gauntlet. That's why I'm here playing this deck. So we are. Repealing the goblin cohort, and he should sacrifice it. And he, he didn't. It's just great. Well, still nothing here. I can cycle the miscalculations. Aha, uh -huh, what am I thinking about? Let's cycle them. There is Mr. Cohort. Let ex let's exclude him. Wait a minute here. Let's use the quicksands. He has six cards in his hand. Uh, I'm going to exclude the conscripts too. And I am going to miscalculate a, war, uh, a bushwalker. That's what I want. So I'm going to let the raider through. And now I have grace too, so that's pretty good. <sighs> did he play a mountain? He did not, so he could still play bushwalker. No bushwalkers, I'm playing Grace.
Delver! Is this good enough? I think it's good enough. I want to both cycle the miscalculations and still have them, but I think I'm gonna need to start cycle them. And 10 mana must be enough. So now I'm gonna start using the Onus Grace. Playing the island was a bit greedy. But I wanted to be greedy here. I wanted to have double the amount of lands that he has so I can win. The counter wars, not the counter wars, but I, I can counter everything he does. Alright, so we are cycling miscalculation. Uh, what is the card? Yes, I want to reveal the card. And attack. And hide behind the wall of golems. That's what I want to do. And I think I can't afford to cycle more miscalculations. Because having six counter spells here is pretty sweet. And I will just counter everything he does now. Uh, so do I counter this cohort? It goes under the label everything he does, doesn't it? And I think it needs to be countered, but what do I counter it with? Uh, no, it's... I'm gonna let it pass. And this guy I can counter with... Condescend. Uh, putting that on the bottom, that on the top. I tapped really weird here. Must not tap quick sense before the attack phase. And now I can counter anything he does this turn. He can still do damage to me, but it's not a lot. It's five. And I am not afraid. But I'm gonna need to keep the quicksands untapped. And the... Uh, spy golems at home. So do I cycle miscalculation and knowing I'm gonna need them. But I'll draw into better counter spells. I will cycle one of them. He only has three cards. Okay, Percy Charm. It's good. Hiding behind everything. Uh, at the end of this turn, I'm gonna kill something. Yeah, I'm gonna kill. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I kill, he'll just save it. So it's probably a slatter. I will aim it at. Keeping miscalculation here. Another hard counter feels safe. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, being controlled. I have very, very little experience with mono blue control. Have I even played it once? I don't think I have. I think this is my first game ever with mono blue control. It is! How fun! Well, it's gonna go in the gauntlet. Anything I want to do at the end of this turn? Not really. That guy is good news. Means that I can attack like this. To have the kill next turn. And here we go. And I am putting Seagate Oracle in my hand. And he has to kill me now. Which is unlikely. Counter Bushwalker. Save the dispel mana. And then one miscalculation or condescend. I think I'm safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I let him pass here? I think I do because I need to be able to kill the bushwalker. And this is not enough. No bushwalker. And the next thing he cast I can miscalculate. And then I still have the di double dispel mana. Oh, double dispel. Resource, rather. Here he comes! Or is he just quietly dying? Nothing quiet about this. Let's do some blocking. Quicksand was really good against goblins. I don't, there's no way for him to get through here, is there? He'll sacrifice everybody. I should have waited, right? Okay, so he is now... Uh, he needs to sacrifice one more. Because I'm about to kill it. And he does sacrifice one more.
and he needs to sacrifice both of these. And then he'll get through with some amount of damage, but it's not a lot. Okay. So he is getting... So now I can settle this. And kill him. And then protect myself with the double dispels. But I didn't need to. So, what does a Delver deck do against goblins? Let's look at the Delver plan, because I actually have a plan for Delver. I take out Ona's Grace. Uh, I put in Hydroblasts, obviously. Uh, snap and Gush. Take out one Exclude. And uh, there we are. Serrated Arrow, Stitch Drake, we don't have stuff like that. So we're playing that. That is the deck we're playing. I have played Mono Blue Control versus uh, Burn. Actually. And this... I oh, have to check that later. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, it takes a mulligan to fire. This is gonna be over quickly. Uh, Ah, I'm gonna go for the Delver here. Think the Delver is going to die? No, but he's getting bushwalked. Do I let the Delver go here? I think I do. Now I hide behind counter spells. Unless you cast the creature spell. See if the creature spell is countered. Um, he still can attack. Now I'm gonna play the Delver and then I'm gonna win with that Delver. That's the plan. Uh, okay, I block maybe. And you bolt me. So that's. That's it. Your hand is now empty. So I don't need to be very afraid of the Thunder Street Dennis, and it's better to counter uh, whatever I want to counter. Now I can Percy Charm. Take him out and try to flip the Delver! Flipping Delvers! I don't want to reveal the island. But I want to attack with my Delver! My powerful <laughs> Delver! It's gotta be a Fire Blast or something in the hand. He didn't want to live through the suffering, but it's uh, it's a very early quit there, but I can't really blame him playing against this deck. I expect people to quit early against this deck in the practice room. Thank you for watching Magic Gathering Start. I'm Dan, I was playing the muck list by Didi Fan that will be running the Pauper Gauntlet in August. Thank you for watching.